Uh, Northampton, when I was growing up, uh, was a, um, a very rich area for, for seeing films. There was so much going on at the colleges. Uh, there were three theaters uh, in town that showed uh, both mainstream Hollywood films and more offbeat uh, independents and, and foreign films. Then, when I was about 14 or 15, I um, got a job uh, working. My very first job was working at the Pleasant Street Theater uh, for John Morrison and Richard Peeney. So that gave me a whole other um, uh, entree into seeing uh, high-quality films. Um, so I had an interest in it uh, from a very early age. Um, my father got early Charlie Chaplin films that we watched at home. And uh, so it was really a, a big part of my life growing up. I, I'm trying not to be a, a fuddy-duddy and mourn uh, the loss of, of uh, you know, um, big screen uh, and theaters. Um, you know, times change and people have different ways of, of watching and, and uh, accessing stories. Uh, but there is something special, and for me in particular, there's something very special about being in a place that uh, was such an important part of my childhood. Uh, and the Academy uh, has an even greater significance in that um, my very first film made when I was in college some 30 years ago, uh, some of it was filmed here. We did a, a recreation of a vaudeville show from the, uh, the focus was on a, a musician, a great uh, ukulele player, a guitarist from the 1920s who was still alive and well and, and he came up here with a few other vaudevillians and did a show here. So that was filmed on the stage of the Academy, and so it was a particularly meaningful event uh, to be here uh, for that.